<laughs> no, in terms of writing a treatment, I mean, look, it's all about storytelling. A treatment is basically, it's basically a screenplay reduced down to, uh, you know, to an outline form. And you have to be, you have to be telling a story. And one of the things that it's actually not often taught in school, but it's very important is there's a difference between writing down a bunch of stuff or shooting a bunch of stuff and telling a story. And, you know, the example I use is like, if I, you know, uh, the way to look at a story is what is changing the circumstances of the main character? In what way is Luke Skywalker now going in a different direction than he was before? So if Luke Skywalker shoots a Jawa and then he shoots a Sand Raider and then he shoots somebody else, that's not a story. That's just a series of events. If Luke Skywalker shoots a Jawa and because of that meets somebody who tells him that his dad was actually a Jedi and he goes on an adventure, that's a story beat. So even if you make a movie that's incredibly small, you still, the story still has to be turning as it goes, you know, so, so whenever you write a treatment, put it this way, if you read your treatment to somebody or if you tell them the story of your movie and they can't, they get bored, immediately that's a bad sign you should be able to tell the story of your movie uh you know it should have the proper number of twists for the amount of minutes you're doing so uh there's a, there's you know you could there's a book it's kind of stupid but it's also kind of true uh it's called save the cat and it's a very basic book about screenwriting that's a good example of uh or save the cat goes to the movies is one where they, it just kind of breaks down very simply what the nature of film storytelling is. And what would be, for, for short, say three to five minutes, um, would they break down the treatment with uh, beginning, middle, and end? What would be the flow for them to have an appreciation of, to make this, to make this um, their narrative come to life in that, in that treatment that they'll then take and put words and everything else? Well, I think, you know, obviously everything's got a beginning, middle, and end. I think you have to uh, you have to look at the character, the, the main character or characters, and figure out what's happening to them. You know, like what are the turns in their story? Whatever your plot is, you have to make sure that you're really you're less dividing it up by scenes and locations because that's you can change your mind about than it is what are the beats of your story that you're trying to tell. Um, and just because it's three to five minutes, I mean. You know, even a 30 second film can tell a story, you know, um, look at any of those Pixar shorts. They all, you know, even without words, tell a very simple story, but it's a story nonetheless. Guys, I hope you're taking that in because especially the guys in the grade 12 program, we've done this now for a couple of years. And I have to say, we probably haven't really focused in on character all that much. We're more concerned about visual and just kind of, you know, going from point A to point B with not much, I have to say, perhaps happening in the middle. Right. Well, by the way, the, the key is not much has to happen. If you tell a good story, I mean, the trick is getting the right shots. I actually watched Steven Spielberg's student film that he made when he was 15 on set, and it was crazy good. I couldn't believe it. He, like, took a bunch of his friends out into the hills and with an 8 millimeter camera shot this war movie. And I mean, it's insane. Like a guy's like a savant, but uh, the thing that was really impressive about it was it was about a soldier who was part of a platoon and everyone else in his platoon keeps getting picked off. And it's basically about, will he make it up and over the hill? And that's the story is what are the, at one point, it looks like he's not going to make it. At another point, he almost makes it to the top. You know, those are the, those are the key moments. And so then you just have to think about what's the best way to shoot those key moments. Um, so, you know, whatever your story, once you figure out what the turns in your story are, that'll dictate how you shoot it. Um, 